Hello, Malden Catholic ninth graders and families. Um, my name is Caitlin Out. I'm the Director of School and College Counseling here at Malden Catholic, and I'm going to talk you through course selection uh, for 2021, what to expect and what to do. The course catalog, which provides detailed descriptions of all the offerings for rising sophomores, current grade nine students, um, is also distributed and will be on the website under academics. So, um, what's the timeline? Well, you're gonna um, meet with your school counselor. So for grade nine boys, that will be Brother Kremen. And for grade nine girls, that will be Mrs. Cole. Um, we will actually start on Wednesday, March 31st. So one, one day before April 1st. Um, and you're going to do a few things. You're going to talk about your four-year plan, looking kind of at where you are now and, and what do you want to get to. Um, we'll do a credit count to make sure that you're on track for graduation. We'll review your requirements for graduation. So we're going to review your core course placements. So um, whether Kremen or Mrs. Cole will talk to you about um, if you have any expected level changes for your sophomore year. Um, and most importantly, and then what you need to do the most prep for is rank your elective choices. So um, we would like students to choose um, their electives, take a look at them in advance of the meeting. So we highly recommend that you do that today. Um, so you're gonna need to look at the course catalog to get an understanding of what your elective choices are. Um, your choices are gonna depend on your grade level, right? So not every elective choice is open to um, rising sophomores. So please keep that in mind. Also remember, you can't take the same course twice. So if you've already taken a class, you cannot take it again for credit. So keep in mind that you need to take a new class to try something new. Be aware that some courses have prerequisites. Very few at the sophomore level have prerequisites, but keep in mind that a prerequisite is a course that you have to take and complete successfully before you can move on to the next one. And as you do your four-year plan and you think about kind of what the future looks like, if there are any courses you would like to get to, um, please pay attention if they have some prerequisites. For example, if you'd like to take AP Computer Science while you're a student here, either in grade 11 or 12, you're gonna need to take Java, uh, JavaScript, Java programming in advance of that. So you might wanna take JavaScript next year so that you could uh, be ready for AP Computer Science in your junior or senior year. Um, and also consider if you want to earn a STEM certificate uh, when you graduate. If you wanna earn a STEM certificate, it's a very rigorous program and you're going to want to start that for next year uh, by choosing project lead the way introduction um, to engineering as your top choice in your ranking system so what do you have to take as a sophomore so rising sophomores so current ninth graders next year you'll have to take english 2 at some level right cp accelerator runners you'll need to take math that varies uh, based on where you are right now um, Current geometry honors students will move on to algebra two. Current algebra one students will move on to geometry. Integrated math students will stay in integrated math. Um, but that really varies based on your placement, but you will have to take math. Um, in science, you'll be taking chemistry at some level. In um, social studies, you'll either take world history two um, or um, you may be placed in AP European history if you're a particularly talented social studies student. Um, Theology 2 is a requirement. It's all the same level. And then world language will vary based on where you are. You might be in Latin, Italian, or Spanish. Um, some rare cases soon might be in second level. Um, but keep in mind that world language is a multi-year requirement. Faculty place you in your core courses. So your current teachers looked at your grades and your achievement, and they thought about you in the past, and they placed you. The vast majority of students end up in the same level that they're currently at, right? If your your grades are falling between a 76 and a 92, we feel pretty confident that you are appropriately challenged um, and you will most likely stay in the level that you are currently in. If you have a 93 or above cumulative average, so not just in one quarter, but overall, there's a good chance that you could be placed in a higher level if you're in CP, that would be to accelerated. If that you weren't accelerated, that would be to honors. Keep in mind, you would not move from CP to honors. We don't double jump here at Malden Catholic, but you can move up a level. Um, 
And if you are uh, scoring below a 76 in cumulative, we would, we would definitely consider, you know, having you uh, move to a level that's a little bit less rigorous, maybe where we can find a little bit more success, right? So keep in mind um, that those are sort of the general uh, rules around faculty placement, um, but the council will review your placements with you when you meet. So what do you need to prepare? We need you to really look at the course catalog and consider your elective options. Um, where are we? Here we go. So the first thing you need to decide as a grade 10 a future student um, is whether or not you want to pursue a STEM certificate. So right in the front of the course catalog are the parameters for um, how to do that. And the much simplest way is to make sure that you take a STEM-based elective as a sophomore to get you started in that. So if the answer to I want to pursue a STEM uh, certificate is a yes, um, we're going to have you put down PLT, um, Intro to Engineering Design as your number one elective choice. That course is pretty much required to get the STEM certificate, so keep in mind that that would be number one. Um, and then we would recommend that you fill up the rest of the ranking choices with with anything that falls in um, the technology and engineering area. So that would be um, uh, JavaScript, especially if you, again, are interested in that computer science, AP later on, Python programming, intro to mobile robotics, or web design. So we would recommend you rank them um, one to four uh, with Project Lead the Way as your number one. Keep in mind that Project Lead the Way, like unlike a lot of the other elective choices, is a full year course. Um, so you'll be giving up something else to, to do that, right? You'll be in that one course as a full credit next year. All right, if you don't want to pursue a STEM certificate, that doesn't mean that you can't take technology and engineering classes. It just means that we're not gonna really push on that for you um, and you will have to make some decisions. So no thanks on the STEM certificate. What do you do next? Well, you, what electives do you want to take? You're gonna you're gonna end up in two half year electives or uh, one full year elective. Um, but for the most part, uh, electives are half a year. So with the exception of PLTW, the vast majority are half year electives. Um, and you can take them in three different areas. So the first is the arts, and you can see that um, there are in that top corner um, quite a few fine arts choices that students can choose. Um, the starred courses are prerequisited, so right, you can't take dance two until you've taken dance one. Um, keep that in mind. And if you want a you know, further description, understanding of what these all are, again, you need to go into the course catalog and take a look. Um, do you want something in technology? So again, that would be JavaScript, Python, um, mobile robotics, web design, or project lead the way. Please keep in mind that students who are choosing to pursue the STEM certificate um, will get priority in tech and engineering courses. Or do you want to take um, an elective uh, in human performance and wellness? So um, human performance to wellness, recreational sports and fitness, yoga, those could be choices. You're going to pick four choices. You're going to rank them one, two, three, four, with hopes that number one and two go into your schedule. That being said, we are going to prioritize your primary subjects, English, math, social studies, science, foreign language, theology. Those courses are classes you have to take, um, and we want to make sure you're in the correct level and the correct, correct section. So those are the priority. Um, that's why we ask you to rank uh, elective choices beyond what you need to take. So you can't expect that you're always going to get your number one and two choice. In fact, you really should be prepared for the fact that you might not. And so please pick four electives that you would be very happy to go into. Um, and we're going to rank them one, two, three, four. We'll do our best to get you into those one and two, but we're of course going to prioritize uh, primary subjects on top of um, elective so please just keep that in mind um, if we can't get you into one two three or four um, you'll expect a phone call in the early summer to talk about that with you and your family um, but we we generally uh, try pretty hard to get students in their ranked one two three or four um, electives if you have any questions you're going to talk about it with your counselor during your scheduled slot so along with this presentation you'll be getting um, a link to an um, to a spreadsheet and on that spreadsheet you will find your assigned date and time um, 
grade nine boys will most likely be meeting in person with Brother Kremen unless they are in the red cohort, in which case that meeting will be virtual. Um, and uh, grade nine girls will most likely be meeting virtually with Mrs. Cole on the days that they're remote. So please keep um, a, and pay attention to your assigned date and time for course selection. We have lots of students to get through, so it's really important that you show up on time and ready to go um, for that meeting. Um, and that is an assigned time um, when you're not choosing it. So please keep in mind that you need to come when you're assigned. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to your counselor, reach out to me, we're happy to help you. Um, but that should get you started on course selection. Have a good one.